Well, we are following a lot of activity on the Supreme Court today. They decided not to review part of an Indian abortion law. The provision in question said that the state could restrict abortions motivated solely on race, sex, or disability. That law was stopped from going into effect last year, and it will now remain blocked. However, it was a 7-2 ruling. The court said that it would allow part of that law, which requires clinics to bury or cremate fetal remains. They're going to go ahead with that. Justices Ruth Bader Ginsburg and Sonia Sotomayor dissented. For more, I want to bring in Ilya Shapiro, who joins us from Washington. He's the director of the Cato Institute for Constitutional Studies, and he joins us now. So, Ilya, the fact that they kind of side sidestepped part of this abortion ruling, what do you make on that? Yeah, this is what I've been saying in response to the, the Georgia and Alabama complete restrictions on abortion effectively in the last couple of weeks. You know, that all gets a lot of publicity, but look at what the court is actually doing. And here, as you said, they sidestepped it. There were not four votes to take up the major issue of the restrictions on, on self uh, sex selecting uh, abortion. So there's no indication at all that there's an appetite for this court, however conservative uh, someone might think it is to even take up the abortion issue, uh, let alone overturn Roe versus Wade. You know, what caught our eye was, of course, many people's eyes, was, was Justice Clarence, who wrote this. I want to read from some of what he wrote. He said, although the court declines to wade into these issues today, we cannot avoid them forever. What do you think he's hinting at here? Well, these cases are going to keep coming up. Uh, there are other uh, petitions already pending in the Supreme Court that they haven't decided whether to uh, take or, or reject uh, on different kinds of restrictions, not, not the, 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 the whole hog ones, as I said, out of Alabama and Georgia, but uh, uh, requirements on physicians admitting privileges or uh, past uh, 20 weeks or certain other uh, kinds of things that when Justice Kennedy was on the court would likely have been struck down. But now that Chief Justice Roberts is the median vote, and who knows what Justice Kavanaugh uh, thinks about this. People are going to be, or legislators are going to try to push the envelope a bit. So we're trying to read the tea leaves. It looks like the court is still a little gun shy uh, on taking up abortion jurisprudence. You know, Ilya, when you talk about that part of the law that they did rule in, saying that, you know, they, they do require fetal remains, whether it's a tissue, whatever it might be, to be either cremated or buried. Why do you think they chose to, to take that on? Well, that doesn't restrict the right to abortion at all. It, it regulates what you do with uh, uh, the, the remains uh, of, of an abortion. And it's, it's symbolically saying that, that, that's, uh, that that's a person because you bury or you cremate people. You don't bury or cremate uh, medical refuse or syringes or something like that. Uh, but the court said uh, that this is not a burden on someone deciding whether to get an abortion or not. It's just what you do afterwards. When you speak about the burden, you know, there's no question that over the course of the past few years, abortions have been restricted. Clinics have been closed across this country. What are you watching when it comes to both the federal and the Supreme Court on abortion rights over the next couple of months? Well, whether they take a case, uh, you know, this was the first shot and, and they passed that up. Uh, this is one of the plays in the John Roberts minimalist playbook. That is, I don't think John Roberts has become less conservative than he was before. He hasn't evolved or moved left. Uh, but he's very cautious, and he doesn't want the court involved in political fights when they don't have to be. And here, there is no split. There's no difference of opinion in the lower court, so they can pick and choose how they want to proceed on this very sensitive issue. And there's no guarantee at all that even though there is now a five justice majority who most people would consider to be conservative, there's no guarantee at all that uh, uh, Planned Parenthood versus Casey or Roe v. Wade is in danger. Ilya Shapiro with the Cato Institute for Constitutional Studies. Ilya, grateful you can join us to break down this Supreme Court ruling. My pleasure.